Patty, Patty, Patty. Patty, look, you my favorite Patty. Well, hold up. It, it's, it's Patty LaBelle and then, and then, and then Patty Jenkins. Like, right, right, right on there. Because you're there. Nerd soul. Kid at one yes, the whole nigga down bring you that street geek and nerd soul. And what is up, my people, today? Oh, yeah, let's get into another wonderful movie review for you. And we're going to be talking about Wonder Woman. So dope, so ready to talk about it. I'm gonna talk about my favorite parts and see what you're thinking. Now, I know you're not used to movie reviews on Tuesday, but today we're talking about Wonder Woman in the on screen episode. And I figured since we're talking about it in the on screen episode, I might as well give you my review today as well because they kind of go hand in hand. So let's start off. Wonder Woman is satisfyingly solid. Like, this is a well made film. Uh, everything has its purpose. Everything is there for a reason. It's the first film in a while for DC where I felt that I got a full course, you know, meal with this. Like I got my veggies in this. I got my meat in this. I got a little bit of dessert. I got some, I don't know, some mashed potatoes or something. I got everything I need in this film. And it's just, it's a solid, well put together piece, man. Um, the themes in this film are just so strong and they really shine through to show you a heroic hero. And I know that sounds weird to say these days because you're like, what do you mean? A, a hero is heroic, does But we live in the days where your hero has to be uh, mean and your hero has to, you know, not really care about being a hero or your, your hero has to be a anti-hero. But Wonder Woman is a hero that wants to be a hero and wants to be a hero because it's the right thing to do. In true heroism, especially in the in the current DCU or DCEU, I don't know, that E just messes with me, man. Just DCU. But anyway, the a true hero is what we need because we haven't gotten that from Batman, but Batman, his archetype kind of is there. But we haven't gotten, I feel, what we need as fans from Superman. So in this case, Wonder Woman has given us that true hero that we need, and it just it just exudes from her. You know, she has this sense of responsibility. She doesn't shy from it. She wants the responsibility. She embraces the responsibility, and and she she loves helping people for the sake of helping people. But let's talk about that origin real quick because, all right, under this rough, rugged, gangster, killer, hardcore exterior, there could possibly be a teddy bear just hiding inside. And if there was a teddy bear hiding inside, that teddy bear would think that the little actress that played the young Wonder Woman was extremely cute, especially in her scenes, you know, watching the older Amazons, or especially in her scenes with her mother. She, the girl is cute, all right? And she, she definitely does her part in acting like a girl that's ready to take on adulthood and ready to take on the the responsibilities of being just like my heroes that I see every day you know as she walks and lives you know through the you know through Themyscira man and it's just cute she's cute and she's hopeful and it, it means it means a lot to me to have you know just an origin story showing her as a young child that doesn't really she didn't really go through some crazy tragedy. She came from a from a place of like, oh, this is great. This is what we do. This is what we mean. We are here to protect people, and I'm excited about that. And I just think that that's something that really comes into play in this film very well because it's something that we don't get a lot of. And speaking of stuff that we don't get a lot of is chemistry. A lot of our superhero films, we don't like to admit it, but sometimes we match up, you know, men and women in these roles, and they don't always click on screen like we think they should. You know, you look at these two people, you're like, these two people are pretty. This should work, but it just doesn't. Now, in this film, Chris Pine, Gal Gadot, Gal Gadot, I know I'm messing up your name. I don't know exactly how to say it, but I promise it's not on purpose. But these two 
they, they work, man. They make this movie. Like, them learning each other, them being a fish, a fish out of water in both cases. Like, Chris Pine's character is a fish out of water. Then Gal's character is a fish out of water. And they both... They both meet each other at the right time of their character's growth to help each other in just a way that it just works on screen. Like they they really make this movie for me. They, they find a way to walk the line between friendship, between, you know, interest and between just puppy love kind of, you know, area and also by or also while teaching each other about themselves and about their worlds. And Dag is good. So before I go forward, I'm gonna remind you guys that you can find me at Black Hollywood Live. That's right, the first online network for African Americans. They do celebrity after shows, sports talk, geek nerd tech interviews, all that. And you can find them at blackhollywoodlive.com. And once you check that out, peep them from week to week on YouTube at youtube.com slash black Hollywood live. So I've talked a lot about, you know, the characters and you know, what hero heroism is and all that good stuff. But the stakes in this film mean something to me because they mean something to the characters and they drive that point home about the dire situation that world war one puts all these countries and these everyday people into. And there's moments where Wonder Woman and, and you know, Steve Trevor are seeing people in, in various situations of distress and knowing that sometimes you just can't save everybody. And instead of being the type of hero that is just like, hey, I can't save everybody, whatever, you, you kind of connect with her more because she's the type of hero that, is hurt because she can't save everybody and she truly wishes that she could. And those are the kind of lessons and the kind of growth that you see her go through in this amazing origin story that for someone who is tired of origin stories, I really enjoyed, man. Like she learned so much about herself. She learned so much about her past. She learned so much about the world that she had never been privy to that it helps make her a more well-rounded person. And also it's cool to see her in her growth kind of tell people certain things or, you know, kind of like argue points with people about what's going on in the world concerning the war. And I know there's a lot of people out there like, oh, the movie gets preachy. The movie's too preachy. No, that's the problem. We ain't got no preaching. We need somebody doing some preaching to tell you that war is bad, all right? And if you're going to be putting, sending people into war, then maybe you need to do take some responsibility yourself. But I digress. I digress. If anybody should be preaching, Wonder Woman should be doing the preaching. But like I said, let's bring it, let's reel it back in. Just get some preaching in your life. Let's, let's reel it back in. But the set design, the direction, just all the parts outside of just the characters help make this world real, help make this world believable. The the costuming, the the way Themyscira looks, like it's just so beautiful and lush. Um, you get to see the people living in the real world that are just, just they're beat down they don't have they don't have much hope left and that's where i have to just give this film all the kudos i can and go on and say that this is a five star experience this film is dope i can't wait to see it again and i know you guys are probably already getting ready to go in the comments and be like five stars how you gonna get this five stars you gave this movie this or you gave this movie that and also it got this problem this problem this problem that's not the issue the experience is a five star experience if you go to a five star restaurant you might not like everything they cook but that doesn't change the fact that the level of their cooking the chef mastery or whatever you want to call it is at a five star level and this film has been put together extremely well it's been extremely well acted extremely well paced you get all of your action you get all of your lessons you get all the character growth this film is great 
and it represents a hero that wants to be a hero and a hero that wants to be a hero for the sake of helping people. And that's what's up. So, holla at me, I'm gonna holla at you. I love this movie. Let me know how much you love Wonder Woman in them comments below. But before you bounce, let me tell you to holla at thatnerdsoul.com. That's right, check out all my videos from the oldest, newest, latest, greatest, and all that. And then hit up shop.thatnerdsoul.com and pick yourself up a t-shirt player. And don't forget to get one of for them playettes. Then come back here, like, comment, subscribe, and share that nerd soul. That's right, there's no better way that I can tell people that you like what you are watching. And of course, my shout outs go to LA What Up, VA What Up, RVA You Got My Heart, and please be good to yourselves, be good to each other, and don't be scared of preaching. Preaching is teaching, teaching is reaching, and reaching is just, just don't be afraid of preaching, all right? Peace.